Ever pondered what the future holds for space exploration? Imagine a world where countries collaborate to conquer the lunar landscape and commercial entities race to unlock the moon's potential. Today, we delve into the journey of space exploration, starting from an ambitious mission's conception to its launch. The story begins with NASA's Artemis program, a project aiming to return humans to the moon for the first time in over half a century. This mission, planned to land in 2025, has survived the transitions between two US presidents, thanks to its practical benefits for the commercial sector and military. The moon, seen as a key terrain, has sparked commercial interest with companies developing lunar landers and plans for resource collection. The Artemis program represents a comprehensive effort with cross-sector support to ensure success in returning humans to the moon. The Artemis missions aim to establish human settlements on the moon, focusing on commercial opportunities. Companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin and Nokia are joining forces with NASA to develop solutions for lunar missions. The moon's potential for in-situ resource utilization, including mining, regolith and water, could lead to a market worth over $100 billion. This commercial first mindset has led to partnerships for delivering goods and services to the moon, developing infrastructure and creating moon-worthy rides. But what about the competition? China's space program is making significant strides towards landing Taikonauts on the moon before 2030. Their ambitious plans include multiple lunar missions and establishing a crewed lunar base. China's progress is fueled by its command and control economy, consistent policy making and ample funding. The US faces challenges such as budget constraints, changing political priorities and technological setbacks that may hinder its lunar exploration goals. Fast forward to today, the Institute of Space Technology announces Pakistan's historic lunar mission, iCube-Q. This mission is set to launch on May 3rd on board China's Chang-6 lunar probe from Hainan, China. The satellite iCube-Q, designed and developed by IST in collaboration with China's Shanghai University SJTU and Pakistan's National Space Agency Supaco, carries two optical cameras to image the lunar surface. CubeSats, like iCube-Q, are miniature satellites characterized by their small size and standardized design. Weighing no more than a few kilograms, these satellites facilitate scientific research, technology development, and educational initiatives in space exploration. Due to their compact size and relatively low cost compared to traditional satellites, CubeSats offer opportunities for universities, research institutions and commercial entities to participate in space missions and gather valuable data for scientific advancement and innovation. To summarize, the future of space exploration is a collaborative effort between nations and commercial entities. The Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon while companies race to unlock the moon's commercial potential. Meanwhile, countries like China and Pakistan are making significant strides in lunar exploration. The launching of miniature satellites like CubeSats paves the way for more entities to participate in space missions, leading to scientific advancement and innovation. As we step into the future, we can expect more historic triumphs in our ambitious journey to conquer the lunar landscape.